this video will show you how to live trace your drawing in Adobe Illustrator for use in your project or for possibly using on a digital fabrication tool like a laser cutter or a CNC to uh, output your drawing a little different layer to a different size. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is Adobe Illustrator CC 2016, but it should work in, in other versions, might be a little different, um, is go to File and just say New. And I'm not really worried about the size right now, mainly because once it's a vector image, I can make it any size I want, you know, the size of a billboard or the size of a postage stamp. So this is going to be flexible later. I'm just going to say OK. Now I'm going to import my drawing that I've already scanned by saying File Place. And I've got it on my desktop here. And when I click Place, it's going to ask me to place the upper left corner. So I usually just click up here, and it kind of snaps it into place. Now you can see on my drawing that there's, um, obviously, you can see some little bits of tracing paper, or maybe where I had some pencil marks that I erased. So the goal here is to get a clean image that I can use um, maybe in a, in a video or an animation or, again, like I said, for, for laser cutting or engraving and something. And so when I want to convert that, I'm going to click on Image Trace up here at the top of my bar, as long as the image is selected with this big X through it. And it's going to give me a warning because it's a larger file, but I'm just going to say OK. And you'll see that right away it turns into this pretty clean looking version of my drawing. And that might be fine for what you need. It might look perfect. But if you wanted to make some changes or alter it a little bit or make some little corrections, you can click on the little menu next to view tracing result. And what you see here is uh, it'll, it won't have that down yet, but you basically have, you know, do you want black and white or do you want to use color? I'm just going to use black and white because it's a pen drawing and then for threshold if you make it less it will uh, recognize less um, uh, less of your drawing or, or use less imagery uh, or less information rather to, to kind of make its its calculations however if you say use a higher threshold it will actually see more information it might even start to see wrinkles in the paper if you give it enough information you can see there it's actually looking for such such a large amount of info that it's looking at the wrinkles in the paper. So you'll probably find kind of a, a sweet spot here in the middle maybe for your image and then if you even wanted under the advanced tab there are things like maybe your paths should be tighter or maybe there should be more corners or sharp edges or you could reduce noise by if you've got like a sketchy line or wiggly lines but for the most part this is really all I need. I'm going to click the expand button and what that does is it turns this into shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And so now it's just uh, shapes. My drawing isn't there anymore. It didn't delete anything but it's just and now it's just vector shapes in Illustrator. So if I right click on it and say ungroup, now I just have shapes that I can move around, resize, fill with various colors, or pattern. Um, oops. And when I go and make these alterations, I'm essentially treating it like a big color book, coloring book. And so even if I wanted to change the background um, or, or delete it entirely by selecting it and just hitting delete, I can go in and, and make these alterations because I've identified those shapes and, and Illustrator has automatically uh, made them. Which is pretty cool. And so now um, you can even do that to the strokes as well. So if I wanted to not only select these shapes, these interior colors, um, or I'll choose a different color here, um, but I could also change the color of the stroked path that's around it. Same for the stroke path around my shapes. So now that I have it all you know assembled how I wanted to I can even select everything and right click and say group and now I can resize the whole thing by stretching or, or distorting it or hold shift and it will scale it appropriately. 
I can make copies and paste them around overlapping each other. And use them in my project. Uh, that's it. And of course you would want to say file save as an AI file so that it does preserve all these vector shapes.